Okay, so Titanobo again. Uh, this is the one I showed you a couple weeks ago. The tongue is still intact. It's coming out of the... This is just the lips broke off right at the front of the head. And so you see the divot, then you see the actual tongue that's uh, petrified there. Well, I just found this one in the field. This one was buried at about two feet. And when I turned it over, you get the whole tongue membrane. You see the membrane? Again, right in the center of the divot. And this is the top. And so that makes this uh, head basically the same size as this head. It could have very easily been from the same animal. And this one petrified uh, right near the, uh, the thermal cone that's over on the corner of the property. The thing that burns all this stuff up. But uh, I've never uh, had one like this that's actually got the backbone. And there's the tongue and the whole membrane that, that supports it. And it feels, uh, it feels heavier than anything else that I have. It's weighing in at nine pounds. Nine pounds. That's a lot. My base, my precision base only weighs nine pounds, the whole base, neck, body. But I've never gotten the teeth. See the ring around it? There's the teeth. And then there's the tongue membrane. And that's the way he'd be looking at you. This was the eye socket here. So, there's that. Cheers. <laughs> One last thing. Ocean floor basalt salt uh, uh, aggregate. And when I broke the corner off of a piece of it, I have a uh, dinosaur egg. And it has been worked. It has been uh, modified into a tool. So before the ice age, this is after the glacial till, this is, uh, this was facing down, and it was facing down just right out in the alley, right out in the back. And so, underneath the glacier were the tools of Neanderthal. Prove it, prove it. I got a whole bunch of them here. They're all exactly the same. Uh, they're all from uh, that period of the Mysterian and Clotonian culture. Cheerio.